Hey, good morning. What's happening, everybody? I'm here on a job site we have up in the hills in Mount Washington, and I'm going to show you a bit of a process we're doing here to drill for a septic system. So we're drilling a 53-foot deep shaft that's a five foot in diameter, and what we're doing here is we're actually going to be setting these concrete liners. So this is for a septic system up here in the hills because there's no access down the hill to connect to the city sewer. So now we've had an issue here. We've hit some hard rock. And so when we hit hard rock or a deposit of hard rock, we also call cemented bedrock. We can't just normally drill right through it. So today we're going to be fabricating a coring barrel. So if you look up here behind me, this is a piece of steel. This weighs about 2,700 pounds. It's a one inch thick sidewall. And we're going to be fabricating a five foot diameter coring barrel so we can cut through the rock. So you see here, I've got some guys on site. We've got an operation going on this morning. And I'm gonna show you what we're doing here. I'm gonna flip my camera around. So here you can see, we're gonna be fabricating the coring barrel using this steel pipe. This is a remnant of some pipe I picked up out in Bakersfield. It's one inch thick. And we're gonna be drilling some coring teeth on this. And this is so we can set these concrete liners. Now, if you see here, here's the hillside we're working on. You can see my drill down here, LA Concrete and Drilling. And I'm gonna show you the, the shaft that we're drilling here. Let me walk down the hill. So as I walk down this hill, we have to cut switchback roads so that we can access the hill. So you can see behind me, here's one of the ramps coming down. And then we come back down this way, you'll see my drill here. And then down below, right there you can see this is the shaft that we're drilling so again this is a five foot diameter shaft 53 feet deep once we finish that shaft we set these liners in place so those liners here and they stack on top of each other now once those liners go in the shaft we will then surround them with gravel above here in the hill right in this location there'll be a sewage treatment tank that sits and that tank serves those liners so this is something that we do quite often in the the hillsides when there's no access street level so if you look up this way so the street is behind us and we can't get sewage up to the main lateral in the street that's existing so this is an alternative being able to manage the sewage on site. So this is for a custom three level home. It's a smaller home because of the size of the lot. So continue to check in with us. We're gonna be showing you some tips and tricks for being able to manage working on hillsides. It is not a uh, cheap or cost effective process. So if you're ever thinking about building a new home, you need to make sure that you understand all the costs involved and what potential unknowns that you might have. So I'm Santos Resendez. Thanks for checking in. We'll continue to update you on this project. Keep watching.